Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Some of you may be wondering, how do I choose what apps I'm going to review? Basically, there are apps that I have on my phone and for the most part, the apps that I'm reviewing right now are apps that I use a lot or that I think you can benefit from having on your phone. Uh, my goal since I got my phone about almost two years ago is I've, I'm always on a constant search for anything that can make my phone better. So those are the apps that I tend to review. Today I'm going to review, be reviewing an app called Quick Pick. Um, it's an amazing gallery app. Um, just depends on what phone you have. Some phones may come with really great uh, gallery, uh, picture galleries built in. Um, but I didn't really like the way mine worked. And so I found Quick Pick. Um, it's free. Uh, you can donate to the developer, but he doesn't charge to download and use it. Um, he's constantly updating it to make it better, and it works, uh, for me, way better than the uh, uh, default gallery app uh, that was on my phone from HTC. So let's hop on it, and I will show you why I love it so much. So here's Quick Pick in my app drawer right here. Um, that's the icon at Q with a scenic picture in the center. Very simple, very clever, and just the beginning. Let's open it up here. Alright, so this is the default view that I have set on my phone, um, and you can change that. Um, as you see, it's, it's a quick gallery view and uh, you see the first picture with a little bit of the other pictures behind it. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, Windows a little bit. Uh, and then you can just scroll through and each new uh, set of pictures represents a, a unique or new folder that those pictures are in. And It'll scan your entire SD card and phone to find all your pictures, um, but you'll see you can customize what you want it to show. If you hit the little picture icon, uh, that's right here, that's where you can change it. You can change it to grid. And this is, uh, as you can see, it'll show, for each folder, it'll show a grid of the first four pictures in that folder. Yeah, of course, if the folder only has one picture, I have this one app that um, I love the app, but it creates a new folder for every single picture, which is kind of annoying, and that's why I have all these folders with just one picture in it. It's a great app, it just creates that weird folder. Um, as you can see here, these are videos, and so it does, you can include videos, or you can choose to, uh, to exclude videos in the list by your own choice. As you can see, that's the grid view. You can switch this to list, more of a standard, typical way that galleries display. And as you can see, you can scroll your finger or you can grab this bar and scroll down based on alphabetical order of what the name of the uh, folder is. And then lastly is Explorer. Now this is kind of a cool feature. Um, it basically allows you to browse the same way you would browse through um, any type of file or folder explorer. You can see down here on the bottom it tells you where you are right now. You're on your SD card. Um, and you can go back to the mount. You can go to eMMC. Now it's only going to show I believe the folders that it sees that actually has pictures in them but you can browse to any folder that way which can be a pretty cool way to do it uh, you can see here this is the main uh, your main folder system system sys account Anyway, 
I don't really use that view. I don't like that view for most things. If I'm using an explorer, usually I'm not looking for a picture. Usually I'm doing other stuff, and I would use a file explorer. But it's cool that the developer went through all that trouble just to put that in there because somebody might have uh, a use for that. And uh, I love developers that do that. I love it when they don't just think of, you know, well, what do I want? They also think of, well, what might someone else want that I don't, I don't have a use for, but maybe someone else will. And that's what quick pick is as you can see it loads really fast um, that was one thing one reason why I started looking for a different uh, picture gallery viewer was because the one that uh, is stock on my phone it seemed to be kind of slow and laggy a lot of times it would show pictures I didn't want it to show it wouldn't show pictures I wanted it to show um, so yeah if you click the menu button you have the option to sort uh, how you want to sort it, A to Z. You can go ascend, descend, or you can, instead of by name, you can do it by date or by path. So you have options there. Uh, you can create a new folder if you want to. And then you can show hidden. Um, if you don't know what that means, if you have a folder on your phone that has media in it, you can put a little create a little file called no media, and then your gallery will naturally want won't see it. Um, that's because you know almost every app has icons for the app, and some apps have lots of little tiny pictures that are part of the app. And so by putting that little no media folder on there, they don't show up in your gallery. But you can select to show the hidden if you want to. And we're going to go into settings right now. So I can show you the different settings. You can choose the a light background theme instead of the black if you want. ICS style menu. And you can include, like I said, or exclude videos from the gallery. I have them included. For browse, you can choose what folders you want. So you can have this, you know, scan your entire SD card, or you can just select specific folders you want to include and uh, then it wouldn't scan everything. You can also exclude folders, which uh, speeds up scanning because then it doesn't have to scan every folder. It will only scan, it will skip over the ones you tell it to exclude because those aren't likely to have pictures in them. Uh, you can select how it sorts. You can select if you want it to crop thumbnails to a square. Uh, you can hide the system status bar if you want to uh, hide the bar when you're in the gallery, you can. Uh, you can choose a translucent title bar. You can have it so that when you open Quick Pick, it opens to the last folder that uh, you actually went into, um, rather than the opening up to show all the folders. And you can protect your hidden folders with a password. So you can hide a folder, and if you didn't want anyone else to be able to see what was in that folder, then you could lock it with a password. Probably if you have that a folder like that on your phone, uh, the pictures that are in there probably shouldn't be on your phone. But at any rate, it's a, it's a feature that is there for you if you need it. You can change the screen orientation rather than it being by system setting. You can select it to be specifically by the orientation sensor or by the image size. You can switch so that Right now, a, uh, uh, a double tap zooms in, but you can switch it to that single tap zooms. Um, you can fix it to show the details of a picture. You can select your maximum brightness. You can force true color decoding, so it forces 32 bits true color imaging. You can have a grid pattern uh, background for images that show an alpha channel. You can select a slideshow interval because you can do slideshows in here and you can select if you want slideshows to shuffle as opposed to just going straight through. Just did that cache. This just allows you to select how you want it to cache stuff in the memory. You can cache uh, full screen previews. Uh, it just makes things faster if it does this. Um, the only reason you would not want to do this is if your phone is very limited in memory. And I doubt many people have less memory than I have because my phone is a couple of years old so uh, I've been doing this and I haven't ran into any issues it doesn't use a ton of memory so something I'd recommend you can also choose HD full screen previews 
which allows the, allows the app to ca cache even bigger full screen previews for better quality. Um, you can delay real delay load real image. So if you are zooming instead of zooming the uh, smaller image preview image, it actually loads the full size real image. As I'm assuming what that means, uh, so it takes a little bit longer, but uh, it saves power apparently because there's less. The app doesn't have to process the zooming of a small image; it just loads the the full image. Um, and then you can clear the cache of the previews or the thumbnails uh, ever so often if you want to do that. And then of course you can donate to the developer, and that just tells you about. Um, Nanling is a great, great developer. This app that he created. Um, let's go back. If you uh, click the camera button, then it just allows you to open any of your camera uh, features. And then if you click this little three dots over here, stands for folders. You can select to show hidden. You can sort. You can create a new folder, or you can go to settings. I guess that's a that's probably I'm assuming that's a menu button uh, due to uh, ICS phones no longer having a menu button, which uh, I don't know I don't understand why take away a button, uh, but hey it is what it is. So let me show you too. If you long click on a picture, it will pull up this. Uh, uh, box and allow you to do a lot of different things. You can share it through any means of your phone that sharing is enabled. So be that Dropbox or email or text or Facebook, any of those, you can delete it. You can rotate the picture. You can uh, select details. It'll give you the details like the size, the resolution. It's good to know. Um, for example, I have several different apps on my phone that take uh, uh, panorama pictures, um, but one of them, once I check the details, I realized it takes them in a really low resolution. So I don't use that one because I want it at the highest resolution I can, it can be. Um, let's see, you can, if you click edit, then it opens it up and it'll allow you to shrink, rotate, crop. Um, very basic editing, because uh, this isn't a fully featured editing app, that's not what it's meant for. There are plenty of other apps for that, but it does allow you to do a uh, few basic things if you wanted to. Um, you can sit as to put in a wallpaper. You can use move to if you want to move it to a different folder. You can move it to a different folder. Uh, you can copy it to a different folder. You can rename it, which is a great uh, thing to do because you know some of these apps name pictures really crazy long names that make no sense. And you can show in map. That of course is not going to work unless you have uh, geolocating uh, on in whatever camera app you're using so that the location of the picture is uh, embedded in the in the uh, picture. And if, if that is the case then you can show on the map where that is. Um, also when you're on this main field if you long click on a folder you get options for the folder. You can start a slideshow. You can hide the folder. Now, if you hide it, that puts that no media file in there, so it hides it from any gallery. Um, but you can exclude it, and if you exclude it, then it isn't hidden uh, from other galleries or other apps. It would only be hidden from. It only be excluded from being shown in in QuickPick. You can delete the whole folder. You can rename the folder, or you can link it to your desktop that you have quick easy access into that folder if if uh, you know that's that's a really cool feature because if you have uh, sometimes you have a lot of folders on your phone with random pictures or some of them are just things you put on there to use for background images and stuff but maybe you have one folder that has all the like cool pictures you took on vacation and that kind of thing you can link that to your desktop so you can have quick access to that particular folder to show people those pictures and that uh, my friends is Quick pick. Uh, not only is it the absolute best gallery app uh, that I know of, but it's also absolutely 100% free. Um, the developer, uh, out of the goodness of his heart, 
I don't know, just because he has an interest in making cool apps uh, to improve on something for all of us Android owners, uh, has made the app uh, available for free. So pick it up in the Android market, uh, unless you have an excellent gallery app that came with your phone that already has all those features, which I highly doubt. Maybe uh, I'm sure there are some out there that have some of those features, but I haven't ever seen a gallery app that is as smooth and as quick and lightweight yet fully featured as that one. So I would highly recommend you uh, uh, download it and install it on your phone, give it a try. If you don't like it, you can always uninstall it. Anyway, as always, this is Eric with HollywoodPhoto.com. Uh, if you like my reviews, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you could be subscriber number 11. That's a big deal. Break the 10 mark. Uh, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have a question or a comment, feel free to leave it below. Uh, if it's a question, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, you can also always check out the website, hollywoodphoto.com. All my videos are on there as well. There's also a, uh, a form where you can send me a message if you want. And that's it. Until next time, I'm reminding you that your Android phone is only as good as you make it.